fourth Sunday in Advent. The fourth Lord's Day in coming time. The lesson is taken from the sermons of Pope St. Leo the Great. On the December fasts and almsgiving. Dearly beloved brethren, if we study attentively the history of the creation of our race, we shall find that man was made in the image of God, that his ways also might be an imitation of the ways of his Maker. This is the natural, real, and highest dignity to which we are capable of attaining, that the goodness of the divine nature should have a reflection in us, as in a glass. As a mean of reaching this dignity, we are daily offered the grace of our Savior, for as in the first Adam all men are fallen, so in the second Adam can all men be raised up again. Our restoration from the consequences of Adam's fall is sheer mercy of God, and nothing else. We should not have loved him unless he had first loved us, and scattered the darkness of our ignorance by the light of his truth. This the Lord promised by the mouth of Isaiah, where he saith, I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not, and I will lead them in paths that they have not known, I will make darkness light before them, and crook things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. And again, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. And we know from the Apostle Circumflex John how God fulfilled his promise, we know that the Son of God is come, and hath given us an understanding, that we may know him that is true, and be in him that is true, even in his Son. And again, let us therefore love God, because he first loved us. For his great love then wherewith he hath loved us, God reneweth his likeness in us. And, moreover, in order that he may find in us the reflection of his goodness. He giveth us that whereby to work along with himself, who worketh all in all, lighting, as it were, candles in our dark minds, and kindling in us the fire of his love, to make us love not himself only, but likewise, in him, whatsoever he loveth. Amen. The lesson is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and so on. Homily by Pope St. Gregory the Great, on the Gospels. John said unto the multitude, that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? The wrath to come in one sense signifieth the great vengeance of the latter day, the sinner that repenteth not of his sin now, will have no mean whereby to flee from punishment then. Let us remark that addressing evil children copying the example of evil parents, the Baptist calleth them a generation of vipers, and that they were envious of the righteous, and persecuted them. That they repaid evil for evil. That they hunted out ways of harming their neighbors, in all these things following the pattern of carnal parents, the prophet likeneth them to a venomous brood hatched from a venomous stock. We also have sinned, we have fallen into wicked habits. What must we do? if we would flee from the wrath to come? Let us hear John. Bring forth fruits worthy of repentance. In which words let us remark that the friend of the bridegroom demandeth not only fruits of repentance, but fruits worthy of repentance. The former are one thing, and the latter another. In considering then what are fruits worthy of repentance, we may remark that if we had done nothing unlawful we might have had free use of things which are lawful and been able to sanctify ourselves without abstaining from indulgence in the things of the world. But if anyone, for example, hath fallen into fornication, or perhaps, into what is much worse, adultery, he ought to make up for his lawless pleasure by abstaining in some degree from lawful enjoyments. He that hath sinned less is not bound to mortify himself as much as he that hath sinned more, nor he that is innocent like him that is guilty. Let every one hearing these words bring forth fruits worthy of repentance, proceed to judge himself by his own conscience, and the more he perceiveth that he hath sinned, the greater penance let him do. Amen. Benedic et vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.